Some smokers want to reduce the number of cigarettes they smoke before quitting completely. And previous studies had looked at nicotine replacement therapy, and there was one small study that looked at varenicline to help smokers reduce the number of cigarettes they smoke before quitting completely. We wanted to do a larger trial with varenicline that used a longer duration of therapy. So we enrolled smokers who had no intention of quitting in the next 30 days, but who were willing to reduce the number of cigarettes they smoked and work toward a quit attempt in the next three months. We randomized those patients to either six months of varenicline or placebo. Both groups received behavioral strategies for smoking reduction. Participants receiving varenicline were over four times more likely to quit smoking completely at six months and over two times more likely to quit smoking at 12 months. We also found no significant differences in the rates of medication discontinuation or serious adverse events between the two groups. The messages for smokers is that you can quit in one of two ways by reducing the number of cigarettes you smoke or quitting abruptly. And in both of those situations, varenicline is very effective for increasing the likelihood that you'll be able to quit long term.